Hey guys, it's Brian with Nagios Enterprises, and today we're going to cover the homepage on Nagios Fusion 4. So here's my default landing page, and I can change this by either clicking on this cog to update my homepage settings, and I can find that same link under my user preferences and going to homepage settings. And here I've updated my custom homepage title to say Brian's Fusion page. And I can also change my homepage destination. And this is the landing page that I see whenever I log in. So by default, out of the box, it is a static homepage, which is the one that we just saw. But you're also able to change it to your home dashboard or a custom destination, which is a URL of your choosing. Now, something to note is that an administrator may have the ability to override where you land when you log in. And, you know, in that case, if you change any of this information, it won't matter. So we'll get to that in a later video. So for now, we're gonna update our information and we're gonna go back home and you can see that Brian's Fusion page is the title of the page. And now we're gonna cover the links that are on the homepage navigation. So the first one is the tactical overview. And this is an overview for each one of the servers that we have fused. So something to note is that these are each dashlets and we are able to dashletize which means to add them to a dashboard. And if we click that, we have the same ability that we saw in the dashboard adding a dashlet video, which is that we can select a dashboard, we can select, well, we can actually override the data that the tactical overview dashlet is pulling. We can change the server on the fly before we add it. Uh, we can customize the background information, padding, refresh rate, and the Z index of that dashlet. We're not gonna do that now, but just something to note is that all of these pages from the homepage are made up of dashlets. So you can add any of this information that you see to a dashboard at any time. The next page is the tactical summary, and this is very similar data to the tactical overview, which just presented in a different way. And you see that these numbers inside of these table cells are actually links. So we see that on server NagaXI, we have one unreachable host, and I can click this cell, and it'll take me right to that server so that I can drill down and see that information quickly. Now we have the Network Operations Center, which shows us open problems along with a summary. And again, each one of these are dashlets, so I can add them to my dashboard if I want to by clicking the dashletize icon and then adjusting this information and clicking Add to Dashboard. And we also have the ability to change from acknowledged to unhandled to all. This helps you determine some problems very quickly. And now we have recent alerts, which shows us all the recent alerts that have occurred on all of our servers in the last two hours. And then we have top alert producers, which gives us an idea of which hosts and or services are producing the most alerts. And then our visualizations. We have host health, which shows us host health by Nagio server. We can see that we have X amount of up hosts on NagXI versus X amount of up and down. We have the ability to change and manipulate the data that we want to see. And that's very similar to the service health summary. So there you have it. All of your homepage links and the ability to change your landing page when you log in to Nagios Fusion 4. If you have any problems, make sure to check out the support forum, support.nagios.com forum, or check out the related content on the YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.